Hi, I'm Jordan with Rico Rents. Today I'm going to show you how to download the data from an AM520 using the Track Pro 5 software. So Track Pro 5 looks and works a little bit differently from the other ones. So let's get going on this. So once we have the software installed and launched, we're going to want to make sure that our AM520 is turned on and in survey mode. If it's logging any data, you're not going to be able to get this pulled up here. And if we plug that in, we'll go over to our device tab right here. And it's going to pop up with our instrument. There it is. Now on the left side of the screen, we've got the devices tab. And then once we open up our tests, they're going to show up here. So I'm just going to pick one. Let's go with test four, 614 data points. And we're going to receive selected tests. You can always select all if you wish. Now we are focusing on the data download, but within the software, you are able to adjust quite a few settings. You can set your data logging intervals, set the date and time. Uh, you can look at the calibrations here, set the different run modes. So your test length, number of tests, time between tests. Uh, you can start them at a specific time on a specific date. So you can set this thing to automatically log. You can adjust the logging intervals on all of these too. Uh, set the alarms as well. And you can just look at some information about the device when it's due for calibration again, uh, serial number, just some basic stuff. Now, if we minimize the devices tab, now we can really deal with this test. So it's going to show the graph here. Once I check this off, there we go. It's populating with our data here. And then there's our graph right there. So here's the graph we're working with. Here's the numbers. Uh, so there's three different ways that we can save data here. Um, what we can do is just save a PDF of the report. And if we do show statistics, it's going to show all this information here. So let's preview that, show you what it looks like. All right, there we go. So there's our test statistics. And actually, I, uh, <laughs> whoops. If we do this, then it's going to show all this stuff. So let's preview that report again. There we go. So now it shows a little summary, and then almost like an Excel file, uh, you'll get your data points at each data logged interval in the report. Now, if we want to actually save it, we just click on the Save Report button. And it's going to save a PDF of our report here. And let's just call it James. Maybe James was the guy who ran this. So there's our PDF report right there. Okay. So what we can also do if we feel like playing with this graph a little bit, we'll hit that logo up in the top right corner. We can look at this graph in a a little bit more detailed way. And we can go to this graph options here. So we can name it, we can adjust the colors on here. Um, we can actually change it from linear to logarithmic if we wish to, quite a few things we can do uh, with the graph options here. And of course, we'll hit apply once we adjust those. Now if we wanna just save the graph, and hit save right there. Oops. Right. And yeah, there's our, <laughs> it'll save that, uh, any, any adjustments you made. And if you want to go back to the main screen here, we'll just hit that logo, exit the graph full screen. So now, I'll show you the different ways we can actually save this data. Uh, we can save it as a track profile. So we'll do save all. It depends what you have selected. Uh, you can either do either all or selected, but I'll just do save all. And this is really, you know, if you've got all this data, you've got it pulled up in track pro, you want to get this later, 
uh, without needing to plug that instrument back in and receive the data again. We'll call this James again. So this is going to be a track pro 5 data file. So that's saved. Now if I relaunch, there's my track pro file there. If I relaunch track pro 5, I'll just go to file and then open and I'll select that James's data. And once it loads up here, there we go. We've got everything I had before. If I just check on this, the data will show up over here. And we're back to where we were. So actually one more thing I want to show you here. If we minimize this devices tab, uh, just a small thing, we can add notes to this. So if we hit this little drop down here, it gives us the option to edit the test. So for example, if I just wanted to know that this was for James, I can name this James. Let's say James is a little warehouse worker. This is James, this is data who works in the warehouse. So that's that. Now, the last way that we can save this data is we can export it as a CSV. So again, just for the sake of consistency, I was only look, working with test four here. And I'm going to export this data as a CSV. You always go comma delimited. That's just tends to work out a little better that way. Again, we'll save that as James. And I'll show you what that's going to look like here. Okay, so here it is. Now, if we double click on these little spaces between the fields, and we'll kind of expand it out just to make it look a little cleaner. All right. So, again, we get a little bit of a summary the serial number start time, how long this test ran for, the number of data points, and the logging interval. And then we can see every point, how much he was exposed to. So we've got our Excel file, we've got the PDF report, and then we've got the raw track pro file as well. So three different ways you can save that data to hold on to for future use. And that is the track pro 5 data download. Thanks for watching our video on the Track Pro software. If you have any more questions, feel free to give us a call at 866-736-8347, or you can head to the training center on our website at racorents.com for more informational videos.